Our first row is finished quilting, and so it's time to roll the quilt. Taking the clamps off, and then releasing the tension on the first two roller bars. I have power feed on my machine, so I'm pressing my button to roll the quilt forward, and I think I just overdid it, so I'm going to back up a little bit. my locks back on. At this point I want to smooth out these layers without stretching anything too much. And then I can use my gas assisted lift to make sure that my batting is nice and smooth. I also want to make sure that my batting is not is still straight and not getting pulled in towards the center. And then I will tighten this up just a hair and put the lock back on. Before I quilt anymore, I need to base down the sides. I'll use my lightning stitch at three stitches per inch. And I want to make sure that the quilt still looks, backing still looks nice and smooth, and that's fine. Now I can base down the edge. Okay, we've rolled the quilt and secured it with our basting stitches, and now I'm going to move my sew head to a spot that's in the middle of the quilt near the top, and I'm locating it um, right on top of a point or a place, maybe an intersection, a place that's really easy to find on my quilt screen, my quilt computer screen. Here's a little trick. The crosshairs here under settings you can make the crosshairs long and see how that extends your crosshairs it makes it really easy when you're repositioning with autopilot we've done one row so far and I positioned my sew head right here on this point. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. This is the point that I want to reposition to. I'm going to tell the computer that my sew head is right on that spot. And the way to do that is you use this repositioning tool. So it's down on the bottom left hand corner of your screen. I select that, and then I'm going to use Align Quilt to Grid. What I need to do is zoom in on this point so that I can be really accurate. And to do that, I'm going to use my zoomer. Over here on the right, top right of your screen, this red box, if I click on it, it'll turn green, and that will indicate that my zoomer is activated. And then I want to make sure that in I want my mouse to, to um, work 
as a magnifying tool and not selection tool like normal, so I'm going to click on that. I want to make sure it's red so that now I can use my zooming tool. When I click on this point, it's going to bring that point to the center of the screen and magnify it. Each time I click in, I'm getting closer and closer to that point. Now what I have to do is use the mouse to select the point on the screen or pattern to use as a reference point. So here's that point, and to use the mouse, I have to turn the mouse selector back on. And then I will click on that point, and it works best if you actually have your mouse pointing just a little bit to the right and below that point. And then when you um, click, left click, it will hop right. That will be my needle. My needle now is represented by that green dot. But it hasn't happened yet. It will happen as soon as I go to this button here where it says align to quilt. When I press align to quilt, you're going to see the crosshairs move to this position. And there we are. See how that perfectly lines up with the point of that hook. And if we are happy with it, we accept it. I'm happy with it. If it hadn't worked out, I can always cancel and or reset to redo it. Cancel would take me out of the tool. Reset would just let me move my dot. So I'm going to accept and then go back to full view. We're ready to stitch out the second row, but usually I do a little extra check just to make sure that things are still lining up the way I think that they were. So I went to the <coughs> left side of my pattern, and I'm going to zoom in just to make sure that my crosshairs still match up with the very left edge of my pattern. And they do, so now we're ready to start stitching the pattern. I press start and it will transfer the pattern over and then um, the next command will prompt the machine to move to the start spot. It will pause so that I can bring up the thread. And I'll use a few tie off stitches. and then continue.